O'Neill Clash has been saving lives through cardiopulmonary resuscitation for nearly 20 years and teaching others to do the same. Clash says he thinks the current CPR mannequins are outdated. That's when he invented Transproto Maximilian. Well, I'm going to make a transparent mannequin so you can see what goes on inside the body. Clash hopes Transproto will become the future of CPR devices. He has been designed to light up when a student is performing CPR correctly. When you turn them on, the heart and the brain simultaneously they, the, is activated. Then after about maybe six or seven seconds, the lights turn off. And then it's up to the students to uh, get the heart activated again. This mannequin is only a prototype. Clash says the manufactured version will also have ribs, muscles, and will even talk like an automated external defibrillator, a device that uses an electronic shock to restart the heart. It's going to say open up airway, pinch now, skip two breaths, and then if you don't do it properly or give enough volume, it's going to tell you. So far, Clash has received positive feedback about his invention. Other CPR instructors say at a first glance the idea works, but in the end, it will be up to the user. Anything we can do to get them to do it the right way is the most important thing. And uh, it seems like his method is one way that's going to accomplish that. Clash has made his prototype out of hard plastic to reflect a human sternum. And Clash designed Transproto out of clear plastic so he can be more universal. He can go anywhere. He can go to China, Africa, Japan. It, it doesn't matter. There's no skin color. I'm Jenny Barger for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.